Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you for making WIS a part of your Christmas day. A meteorologist Chandler Jordan out of the first alert weather center. And thankfully with Santa's arrival, we were dry last night, dry into this morning as well to kick off Christmas. But we've got these cloudy skies out here at ahead of our next disturbance. It's going to build into the Midlands through the rest of the day today. Currently 61 degrees out there for us right now, so just a touch mild. And we're going to slowly start to see an increase of rain through the rest of the afternoon and this evening already starting to have a few showers build into portions of Orangeburg County. Those of us in Orangeburg getting some rain right now. A few sprinkles throughout parts of Richland County, especially to the east and southeast of Columbia, and then a few lighter showers throughout parts of the upstate closer to Greenwood County as well as around Newberry and Saluda. But this activity will continue to increase. You can see where these showers in the low country are starting to slowly move farther northward. This will provide us a source of rain as as well as the actual frontal boundary itself with our storm system. You can see it now moving through Alabama into Georgia and all of this moisture that we have to our south and to our west gradually builds into the Carolinas through the rest of today and even into parts of our Tuesday. So through the rest of the afternoon, we'll get some rain. It'll increase out there across the Midlands. I think almost all of us will have some type of rain to deal with before it's all said and done today. Otherwise, breezy at times, a little mild. Not too bad, though, if you happen to have some periods where you're dry, just cloudy skies and temperatures topping out around 65 degrees. And we were talking about many of us getting rain. That's why we have a 90% rain chance and our forecast would be shocked if any of us were staying dry through the rest of today or even into tomorrow. Looks like rain will be likely for almost all of us at some point tomorrow, even especially in the morning. I think if you're out the door early and you'll see that here on first alert future cast, but we're going to have some showers to deal with. So we're picking up first alert future cast out there right at this moment, and it's doing a pretty good job of showing how the rain increases from our south and from our west through this afternoon. There might be some downpours at times that are a little heavier, especially on future cast where you're seeing these oranges and reds briefly pop up, signifying some pockets of heavier rain, and that'll continue even into this evening and into the night tonight. So if you have any dinner plans, church services that you're headed to a little later today, just know you're going to have to dodge some showers for those and make sure you have your rain gear handy. Now, if you're back to work tomorrow out the door early or have any other plans, maybe some returns on some gifts out there for uh, the start of your Tuesday. A lot of heavy rain still sticking with us for the start of Tuesday morning. These showers continue at times through the rest of Tuesday afternoon and thankfully as we get into our Tuesday evening and Tuesday Tuesday night, our rain activity slowly starts to lighten up. We still have a few showers out there for Tuesday evening, but by the time we're waking up on Wednesday morning, we're locked in with a cloudy sky. The moisture starts to get out of here to our north and east, and we'll begin the process of cooling off and drying out. So we still have cloudy skies after we get rid of the rain Monday and Tuesday, maybe a few sprinkles Wednesday morning, but by the afternoon, we will certainly be dry. And then the rest of the week, a lot cooler, mid 50s for Friday, your last week weekend of 2023 seasonable just a little cool with high temperatures in the mid 50s and then the first week of 2024 looking dry partly cloudy skies and a little cool with high temperatures in the mid and upper 50s.